It's 5 a.m. and the soft morning light begins to illuminate the inside of our van. Everything is quiet. We hear no noise. The village where we parked last night must still be asleep. I love these moments. While preparing the coffee, I realized that winter is well and truly behind us since the floor under my feet is no longer cold. This detail, perhaps insignificant, makes me very happy. I must admit that my eyes are still heavy from waking up so early and that I will probably be a little tired during the day. But I think sometimes in life it's good to push yourself a little to experience great moments. Great moments like this one. There is absolutely nothing like a sunrise. It gives us the impression that everything is possible and that the future belongs to us. We are so grateful to be able to experience such unique moments. But slowly, as the sun rose higher and higher, hunger woke us up more and more, and it was time for us to, to start our day. Since it was still very early, we took the opportunity to enjoy a slow breakfast. Each sip of coffee seemed to taste better than the last. The amazing view probably had something to do with it. Thank you. 
while eating, we couldn't believe that the doors of the van were wide open and the sun was so warm and nice. Since three weeks ago, we were still snowshoeing in the forest and wearing our winter coats. Spring had well and truly arrived. After enjoying the view and a very slow morning, we were kindly asked to move the van since it was forbidden to spend the day on the dock. Being aware of how lucky we are to be able to park our van almost anywhere we want, we thanked the old man who had come to talk to us for letting us have our breakfast in such an epic spot. We believe that when practicing van life, Respect for others is essential. And anyway, I had a little work to do. I consider myself very lucky that my job allows me to work wherever I want to. Being able to work while traveling is crucial for both of us. All I need are my laptop and the good internet connection. While Anna was working, I took the opportunity to explore the surroundings. Quickly, my gaze was drawn to the crown. I couldn't believe it. It was a caterpillar crawling slowly towards its butterfly life. Looking up, I then saw a bird's nest hanging in a tree. It was empty, but maybe its owners would return for the warmer days. During my walk, I also witnessed the remains of the violence of the winter winds. I was happy that those days were behind us and that the nice weather was slowly taking its place. The shards of the wood from the broken tree were already devoured by ants. I was, once again, amazed at how quickly life resumed its course after the harsh winter we just had. Especially since, a few meters from these little ants, you could still see snow on the ground. It was as if two opposite worlds cohabited together. It was wonderful. But I honestly had really had enough of the snow, so I went back to my sandy path where the sun was shining. I then found myself a comfortable place sheltered from the wind where I could observe the Canada geese 
which had just arrived in the country after a winter spent in the felt. It was such a beautiful day. Shortly after, Anna came to join me on the beach with a hot coffee. We thus remained there under the magnificent sun for the rest of the afternoon. We were so happy for the arrival of spring and we were already dreaming of the mild and warm days that we are going to spend in the next few months. Thank you. 
Okay. Mm. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. <rire>